Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and we are right into the action. This is the final 10 minutes or so of the One Hive, One Hive Genesis War. Um, this one is gonna be ridiculously close. I don't have time to explain what's going on. Let's just take a look at this attack and see if it works. Hope that it works. Um, and then as we back out, I'll show you guys what is actually going on here. But this, suffice it to say, we need a three star here. Um, it, we don't need it, but it is very important that this attack three stars for us. Um, it's going to be a mass bowler, kind of witch bowler type attack. Looking pretty good. This base has been hit, I think, once before. Popping the Warden's ability. I think it's looking pretty good, but the Queen is on a wall for some reason. I don't know why. Um, okay, she's finally taking the jump. I'd say looking good. More likely than not, this will 3-star, but it's still hard to tell. Uh, both Infernos are up, which is going to make it difficult. The healers are being targeted. Queen, did he miss the Queen's ability, or did he have to use it? Okay, I thought this one was looking a lot better than it was. Dang, this one's not going to go. Um, does get the 2-star, which is important, because uh, as you'll see when we back out, this base was previously 1-starred. This one's not going to go. Um, I think they were also dipping at the same time. And um, did they fail a dip? They dip failed on number 12, I think. Yes, they did. Okay, this gets even more interesting here. Um, this is the war, though. Basically, uh, it is 116 to 115. That one's going to fail. We'll have one more uh, Town Hall 11 attack. They will have three more Town Hall 11 attacks. Um, and they have to use one of them to dip. So they're still up by an attack technically um it's just going to come down to percentage and if anyone can get one more 11 v 11 three star but wow they failed on a dip um let's just look at that really quick because i cannot believe this base was insane um i almost feel a little bad about showing it maybe i you know what i'm actually not even going to show it here um there's the the base but i'm not going to show where the traps are in case you want to reuse it Suffice it to say, um, the base you got a glimpse of was a very good base, defended many Town Hall 10 attacks, and then there, a dip. They will have to dip it again. You might actually see that um, live, but I'm sure the remaining attacks are going to mostly take place at the end of the war here. So not streaming. I'm on my laptop, so I, I'm just going to record this and upload it as a video, but it is going to be very exciting here. Um, let's talk about where everything stands. I guess you can fast forward the video a little bit if, if I'm not sure how long it's going to take for an attack to go live. It might show a replay or two, but first let's just kind of finalize what's going on in the picture here. We have a 75, a 68, 60, 90, so kind of averaging around probably uh, around like 70, mid 70s for percentage. Um, we have 83, 72, 75 and 65 so also very close on percentage um, I do have my calculator next to me if I want to try to calculate this out but of course there's still more 11 v 11 attacks which will change the picture um, if there's a three star or if the percentage is raised on any one base they do have to dip this again um, this base let's take a look at it defending number 12 that's six attacks I'm not sure if it was scouted and then there the dip fail Every attack is crucial at this point. Um, we have one more remaining. This is Steve's Nguyen, and I'm not sure which base he's gonna hit. The plan on three, as we saw right at the beginning, was kind of promising, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not sure that could work. Um, this base, I kind of forget the plan. I think it was a mass bowler. Most of the three stars have been using Laloon, actually, um, more than witches and bowlers, which is interesting. Um, so at this point, my guess is within a minute or so, they should be dipping that same base again. Um, I will just go ahead and show the replay on it, just because I'm sure someone's streaming this and or uh, you basically can't use the same base again in uh, CWL, So especially because we have two bye weeks after this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show it. Taking, I'll keep an eye on the bottom left for a live attack here. But I guess the witches died on the left, and then it's just such an awkward entry. Didn't take the jump. Everything's going around the outside. Air defense picks off a few healers. Um, must have been ridiculously close here. 
the Inferno is just still up, and I think that's what hurt him the most, because he has to use the Queen's ability, pops it right there, uh, Queen is getting low, and the Inferno is the hero here, um, what a base, nice stuff, cool, cool to watch, and we definitely needed that, especially because we failed, and here's the dip on it, um, they are going with Mass Hogs and Skelly Spell for the Queen, which is, I think, they've used this dip attack at least once or twice uh, on other bases. So let's see if this one can work. I will prioritize an 11v11, so I'm going to keep my eye on the bottom left of the screen there to see if someone else goes live. But they're just going to lure out the CC, kill it with the heroes, and then try to mass hog it, it looks like. Which I think is a decent plan, because for a dip attack, something has to go seriously wrong, like we saw with the last one, the funnel not working out, something to that effect. So heroes down, um, poison... Should take out the CC, he grabbed the defensive king and some defenses around the king. Gonna need to use the king's ability, is he gonna miss the king? Okay, got very close there, I was surprised he let it go that far. A few more CC troops come out, just a few goblins there. The king is dead, but level 50 queen should do quite a bit of damage, unfortunately, to the base here. Um, if they failed again, that would, that would just be insane. This base would... I don't even know, um, but I... Yeah, I think it's looking good. Got the things he wanted. The queen might even survive if the hogs come in and tank for her. Uh, giant bomb goes off, but with the warden, with the heals, as long as he takes out the defensive queen properly with the skellies, this one will probably triple. Uh, there go the skellies, and the bomb tower's down. Unless the queen gets away, no, she's going to die. Um, uses the warden's ability, still has a ton of heals left up. Uh, yeah, this one looks like it's going to be a triple, and I don't think anyone else is live in case, unless I missed something. Uh, the hog pathing a little weird at the end here, but still has one more heal, uh, plus the queen, a valk. I cannot see any way this one does not triple. There might be another giant bomb there, but I don't think it really matters, even with the skellies and everything. Yeah, this one is going to be a three star. Okay, let's go ahead and back out. Um... Just so we're ready here, uh, nothing else live. Okay, this is it. One 11v11 for us, two 11v11s for them. It is tied otherwise as soon as this other star gets added. 116 to 116. Percentage, like I said, I, I didn't do the math, but it looks very close. Okay, here's... I guess we will hop in and... I kind of want to watch our attack, though, rather than their attack. Um... I will we'll watch the beginning of this, but as soon as someone else goes live, we'll back out and wait, because I, I kind of would rather watch us attack than them. Um, okay, so they are live in both. We will, I guess, have to wait and see to see what army comp's being used, stuff like that. First run, I think, was like a mass bowler type. This one is a queen-charged Laloon. Uh, these bases, I think, have been attacked. Some of them, at least, have been attacked already. But let's take a look at our own attacker and root him on. It is Steve's new in. And wow, I am kind of nervous here. Uh, this is a war we definitely wanted to win, especially going into a two-week bye. Um, it's an important war for us. And if we win this, we're looking very good. I think we're like 5-1 and one on the season. Um, so this is, I think, a plan that's been done a few times already. It has legs to it, um, and it definitely can work. Healers down on the witches. Is there going to be a weird healer interaction there? No, they're on the witches. That's good. Um, everything's looking pretty good. The eagle's on the king, which is perfect. Um, that won't really make a difference. A ton of healers in this attack. If they switch on to the bowlers, things should be good here. Um, let's see. Wall breakers for the inferno compartment. Some of the skellies should run in there and tank the inferno. The witch is on the outside, getting kind of weird there. The king, warden's ability, I have no idea how this one's going to go. Troops are running all over the place, this is insane. Baby dragon dies to a seeking air mine, that was not helpful. It's looking good though, um, it just depends how the end of this works out, but the witch has stayed alive on the outside. I'm saying this one is going, I said it was a three star last time and it was not even close on that very first attack, but I'd say if this one doesn't three star, Something is going terribly wrong, which I don't see happening. I think this one is going to be a triple. Um, I'm just not going to back out quite yet. Got to make sure it actually does triple, and then we'll see um, if one or both of their attacks tripled. 
it would come down to percentage if one of them three starred. If both of them three starred, of course it's over. And if none of them three starred, then uh, it's a win for us. So um, should I back out here? Let's just kind of wait and see. Queen's ability, this one is over. Let's back out and see what they did. Um, they tripled, I think, on one of those. Is this one a triple? This would decide the war if it is. No, it's a fail, and percentage doesn't look good, but I think they're going to get around like 80% or so. Uh, I have no idea how this one's going to end. The other star will be added, and then we'll see the percentage. Um, I think they might have this if I have to guess right now, but I don't know. We have like 60s and 70s. They have 90, 60, 68. Actually, we might have this. I have no idea. Um, let's wait and see. Big finale. Oh, we lost by 0.15%. Dang, let's see exactly what happened here. 72, 75, 65. 90, 60, 68. Yeah, I guess the 90 is what made the difference there. So, um, the attack on number 3, I guess if it had picked up a little more percentage or if it had tripled, would have been the difference. Let's take a look at their other 3-star. This is what kind of got them the victory here. Other attack didn't really matter that they did because it was already 90% on that base. Uh, let's kind of fast forward here. It was a witch bowler attack here and um, does a queen walk looks like separate from everything else uh, this attack they had done I think once before but like missed a jump spell or something so it was a good plan and everything will go times two for sake of time pushes through the base here and uh, yeah it gets into that back end inferno looks like this was a fairly routine three star um, a lot of troops still left up Queen's ability was used. Actually, maybe a little closer than, than if the queen would have gone down. Oh, the queen doesn't quite go down here. Um, but either way, has a lot of bowlers left up and um, just kind of lets everything run around the outside. So, yeah, if the queen had died, still probably would have been a three star. So, nice, nice war to everyone. Um, it's awesome. There was like 25, 30 people on at the end. So, good to see all of that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the end of it. I'll try to get some replays for some different videos, um, attack strategies, stuff like that for you guys to check out as well. But that will do it. Um, these wars are so close. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw the stats up here. I guess it doesn't really show you anything. I wish I could show like the 10v10 stats and everything, but suffice it to say, there was a lot of 10v10s on both sides. There was three 10v11s on both sides. It just came down to percentage. So good job to everyone in One Hive Genesis and in One Hive um, for them getting the victory there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.